This is about making something that was wrong and bad right. Decades after an innocent man died in prison, justice is finally served. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Today, members of UIS's Innocence Project declared Grover Thompson an innocent man. Thompson was sentenced to 40 years in prison after being wrongly accused of stabbing and raping a Carbondale woman back in 1981. WCIA 3's Raquel Martin is live in Springfield for us tonight. Raquel, this is the first time the state has granted clemency to someone who's already died. That's right, Jessica, and it's part because there was so little evidence and it was so clear that this was an innocent man. I talked to his family. One of his nephews was actually at the press conference today, and he believes that he was just a black man in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, Thompson was accused of climbing through a window and raping and stabbing a white woman back in 1981. She and another witness at the time described the suspect as having a dark complexion. They also said he was wearing a white T-shirt. Thompson, who was disabled, was was wearing a black shirt the day police found him resting at a nearby post office. It wasn't until years later law enforcement realized ev through the evidence that they had the wrong guy. Now we know, now we know for sure that he was falsely arrested, falsely accused, and he didn't do it, and he was exonerated. And that should be something of a light um, in this otherwise dark tunnel. The man guilty was a serial rapist murderer who was later convicted of the crime. The discovery came too late for Thompson, who died 15 years in his sentence. Law enforcement who arrested the real suspect called Thompson's a case of a poster child of injustice, and they use it as a learning lesson for new officers who come into the force. Now, Thompson family says they're glad that his name is finally cleared, and they describe Thompson as a good man who was incapable of doing such a heinous crime. Uh, the director of the Innocence Project tells me that Illinois has made great strides to try to reform our justice system, but there's still work to be done to make sure that men that looks like Thompson aren't victimized in the future. For now, live in the Capitol Newsroom, Raquel Martin, WCIA 3, your local news leader. A long time coming for his family. All right, Raquel, thank you so much. Thompson's clemency happened thanks to one lieutenant who discovered his innocence while pursuing that serial rapist. He wrote a book about the investigation and a portion of the proceeds goes toward criminal justice scholarship at SIU Carbondale.